Today's video, I am going to attempt to construct from parts that I have in the garage, a light and detachable Smitty sled uh, for my two man flip over shanty. My name's Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy. I'm mostly an open water musky fishing channel, but every now and again, uh, I do like to do some ice fishing, and I do like doing the occasional do-it-yourself video. I have ones on how to replace a transom in a boat, and uh, we've put some extra storage and casting deck in boats. I can put those down there. If you're a do-it-yourselfer as well, and like to do these little projects, some of them not so little. This is gonna be a small one, hopefully. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I've got some old skis. I'm going to attempt to explain what I'm going to attempt to do uh, by making a, as I said before, a detachable smitty sled. Now a smitty sled is usually, uh, you know, two skis and some sort of wood platform to put your sled on. I am going to attempt with pieces of wood and pipe and eye bolts and other such things to make something that can slide onto the side of the sled and once you get to your destination, slide the skis off and just have it be a regular sled again. Hopefully it will make more sense once we get into the build. Okay, so before we get too far along, here is my initial plan. Old, uh, it's about a six foot cross country ski that I just had laying around. I need to get on either end here some posts going up that are going to attach to the sled. Here we are. Post will be attached to the ski with epoxy and some screws, some flathead screws from the bottom side. We want flathead and recessed so we've got a nice flat surface still. So we'll have a ski with two of these that will slide through an eye bolt placed towards the bottom side of the, uh, the ice shanty. This will slide up into it, and then there will be a bolt on the top side that this will fit into. And hopefully, between the eye bolt down low and this bolt that this slides into, it will give this enough stability uh, to work. So. That's the idea. You will be able to take the ski with these two posts, hopefully tip up the sled, slide one side on, tip the other side up, slide the other ski on, and now you've got your shanty elevated on skis so that you can pull it through deeper snow because we all know how much it stinks to pull one of these things through more than like two or three inches of snow. So uh, that's what we're going to attempt to do. Will it work? I don't know. This is just one of those ideas I had and I wanna try it. Um, I don't know how well um, any of this is gonna to hold together quite honestly. So uh, let's find out, let's, let's put this thing together. Before we get too far into this project, I just wanna go over uh, kind of what the supplies are or what I'm using. Again, I said I'm just using stuff basically lying around the garage. I did have to go out and get a little bit of the hardware stuff, but the skis were old skis I had when I was a kid. They're 60 inch cross country skis. I'm guessing like a wider downhill ski might work better, but this is what I got laying around. So that's what we're gonna use. The blocks of wood I cut out of a four by four, and it's a little bit wider than a two by four would be because I wanted it to fit perfectly the width of the ski. Uh, so I cut those. We've got a three quarter inch hole, three quarter inch pipe. This was, again, spare stuff I had laying around. Uh, I've got about a 14 inch piece of four pieces of this 14 inch piece of three quarter inch outer diameter pipe. And then uh, I don't exactly know what, what size I screws I got that this pipe is going to go through. Um, just get whatever size you think is gonna fit because this needs to be tight. We don't want it to rattle around. And I've got some stuff I'm gonna do to keep this from rattling around in the eye screws that we're gonna put on here. So eye screws with the proper uh, 
bigger fender washers and bolts to put those uh, on the sled and we want fender washers, we want big washers so uh, we're not pulling the stuff out of the plastic of the sled and then I've got four 3 8 inch stainless steel and all the hardware is stainless steel that I'm trying to use here um, bolts that are an inch and a half that are going to be on the edge of the sled that this is going to fit up into. Again, this doesn't make sense now. Hopefully it will once we start putting this all together. But those are some of the supplies. All right, to make sure that the block of wood is straight up and down, see how the ski has a little bit of a rise to it? We want to cut the wood so that it follows that rise but it still keeps the pipe straight up and down. So we'll do that on the four parts of the ski, but make sure the ski is nice and flat when you do that so you can make that cut there. Okay, that last part where I had the close up of drawing the line, I said the four parts of the ski. I meant we have to do this to the four blocks, two per ski. Um, but yeah, we've got that all set up, seems nice and straight. So we need to connect it um, to the ski. What I'm going to do is use some of these, it's out of focus, uh, but I'm going to countersink these because we'll be coming up through the bottom of the ski. We don't want anything sticking down uh, to ruin how the ski would slide nice along any surface. So we need to have those recessed on the bottom side here. Uh, I'll probably also use a little bit of like a two-part epoxy to have that connected as well with the screws holding it on four different positions. So let's, uh, let's get that on there and see what this looks like. Uh, we've got our skis and our pieces of wood that we cut to the proper angle so they are straight up and down when they sit on the ski. I'm going to use a little bit of it's just kind of a two-part epoxy JV Weld. Um, we will, there it is, we'll get it mixed up. We'll put a little uh, on the ski, place the wood on it, get a couple of clamps on it, and while it's drying, uh, we will drill some pilot holes and then put our screws into it. So these will be held on with the epoxy and four two and a half inch flathead screws. As most of my projects go, I tend to get a little bit ahead of myself, and that's what happened uh, putting the blocks on the ski. Turns out when things are on an angle and you have a substance, albeit JB Weld, uh, before it sets up, it's a little slippery. So if you try to clamp it, it starts to slide. Uh, that probably should have been obvious, but you get excited and uh, you get ahead of yourself. So I've already taken it upon myself, and I didn't film this, but I just set everything up, drilled into the ski, countersunk the uh, screws. We're going to have to do a little bit of filing here uh, to get the plastic down, but as you can see, it should end up being nice and smooth. We've got our blocks on there. Should be nice and straight, both sides, both skis are done. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. So now what we need to do, we've got four pipes, about 14 inches long, and again, I use whatever you can find. Uh, this was from an old cot that I kept the pieces to. My wife yells at me all the time for keeping stupid things around the house. Well, I have these for a couple years and now I'm using them. So uh, these little pieces of wood and scrap stuff come in handy for little projects like this. But yeah, that's the next step. I've already got a three quarter inch hole drilled in um, that these will fit snugly into. We're going to use a little bit of that JB Weld uh, to hold those in the pieces of wood as well. So once we get that done, we'll have our two skis, two posts uh, about 28 inches apart. From there we're going to have to start measuring on the uh, sled itself to put our uh, eye uh, bolts that these will slide up into and then our bolts along the edge that these will fit into. Again, hope this is making sense. It should once we get this all together and uh, hopefully it works. So 
now that we have the posts securely fastened to our skis, now it's time to put the hardware on the actual sled. So, here's my idea. We've got these eye screws that the post is going to go up into, and then we're going to put a bolt up here that the open end of that tube is going to fit into. So you've got two points of contact with that post. Hopefully that gives it enough structural stability uh, and it doesn't all fall apart. Um, now you may be concerned about putting these eye hooks on the outside of the sled as close to the bottom as it is. Uh, the way I see it, if the snow or whatever is deep enough that this stuff's going to be hitting it, I don't think it's going to do much to it in the first place. I've got really big fender washers on either side of this with a nylock nut on the inside. I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, but yeah, I, I honestly don't think having these here are going to be in the way. Um, I mean, you might just have to be mindful of them from here on out if you do something like this. But uh, here again, I'm not even necessarily saying do this. I just thought this was a cool idea and maybe this will uh, you know, spark a cool idea that you can do to your sled uh, to make this detachable smitty sled is what I'm calling it, I guess, for lack of a better term. So uh, yeah, we're going to get the two uh, eye bolts on. We'll get the bolt up here and see how it looks. Here we are with one side of this done. Um, this is being held on there just because there's enough pressure that it's holding it from <laughs> falling down. So I've got it stuck up there. But yeah, we've got eye bolt, eye bolt. I put a uh, sleeve over the original pipes that I was using. Um, I was going to use this three quarter inch conduit, quite honestly, but I didn't have enough of it. So uh, I may do, it actually fits inside this eye bolt a little bit tighter. So I just kind of threw it over as a sleeve. Um, but yeah, eye bolt and then up here, there's a bolt coming down about that far that this slides over um, and fits. Now there's the, there it is right there and right there. So that's what's giving it stability up top. The eye bolt is giving it stability here. If we look inside here really quick, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Right there, we've got to cut that off just so we don't um, have something sticking onto the inside. But uh, yeah, I'd say this is a, a success. I think uh, I have this contraption that we've been working on uh, all put together. As you can see here, I'm gonna flip the camera on so we can take a look at this real quick. So, right there where we had the long bolt sticking out, got a uh, got the sawzall and cut those off so we don't have posts sticking into the inside, the storage part of our sled. Uh, I don't know if you can see it on the back side. Right there, we've got our top uh, our top bolt on either side that acts as the top part, uh, or as the, what do I want to say? The post that our post on the sled slides up over onto. Uh, let's get down here and take a look at it. So I've got two nylock nuts on here. Uh, the nuts are about the same size as the inner diameter of, um, of the piece of tubing that we used on the ski. So that just, boom, slides right up over top of it. Um, yeah, I, th I think we can, we're ready to give this a try. I'm going to get this down on the ground and see if this thing works and hopefully nothing breaks. All right, guys, uh, we're going to do this in real time. This is going to be the first time I'm trying this. So uh, basically what we're going to do is I've got the two uh, skis laid out on the side of the shanty and I'm just going to lift up one side, place the ski Hopefully there's enough there to hold it. <laughs> and then come over to the other side, lift it up, and place the other ski. Uh, let's see how this works out.
All right. Well, that was a little, uh, a little clunky, but like I said, it's the first time I've tried doing it. Um, it seems pretty, pretty stable. Uh, the next test will be getting it out uh, on some snow and trying it out, which I'm going to do next weekend. So here's my plan. I am going to, when I'm out on the lake, I'm going to make a YouTube short video and it'll probably be at the, about the same time I put this uh, video on the channel. So I will have the two cross-linked. So if you watch this, you can watch the on the ice demonstration. And if you have seen the on the ice demonstration and you came here, welcome, I guess. But yeah, um, that's it. <laughs> uh, feel free to put comments, uh, to ask questions. Uh, you know, this was just a little project um, I thought of and decided to do it and film it. So um, yeah, like I said, you don't have to do it this way, but hopefully if you've been thinking about doing something like this, this might give you some ideas. There's all sorts of other videos out there of uh, how to make a, uh, a collapsible smitty sled. Um, so it's not all the traditional kind. There's some really cool ideas out there. Hopefully this is just one more cool idea that you can use to make your own build and do it yourself. And with that, I appreciate every single one of you watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video.